Welcome to the final round of Footy Feud as we conclude our 2014 MLS season preview. Here's hoping that Team TBDFC can get something going this round. It's a four to one lead for the Rats. Let's play the next survey. It's Kobe and Taylor. Hey, if you need to take a dive in the box, good do luck, it. Good, right? luck, good luck, good luck. All right, fellas. We asked countless people from around the MLS world for their answers, and the top six are on the board. Who will be this year's MLS MVP? Taylor. <laughs> Robbie Keane. Taylor Twelman goes with Robbie Keane, and do we have Robbie yes, Keane on the board? Yes, yes, yes. I'm not even going to let you pass. You no, go back. We have to play. You guys have to play. Wow, that was a tough one. Here's your chance we to play. We don't care about the big game. Hey, so if you win, like, you yeah, know. if you win the last, like this one's worth 11 points. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, Jason, who will be the 2014 MLS MVP? I'm going to go with Diego Valeri. Diego Valeri, what, do what are your expectations from him this season? I think he's going to run the show for them. Um, they made some good off-season off acquisitions and uh, a, a breakout year, really, for, for Portland last year. And I think he's going to build on that and, uh, and perform really well for them this season. It's well said. It's well said. All right. Show me Diego Valeri. There you go. I feel the momentum. All right, Jorge. He came back to the country to be one of the new faces of the league. He's going to be one of the leaders of the American team in Brazil. The deuce, Clint Dempsey. All right. Clint Dempsey, you're expecting him to rebound after a rocky year last yes, year, Yes, it's right? going to be a great 2014. All right. Show me Clint Dempsey. Oh. Many people not believers after last year. He didn't actually even make the top 10 of this survey. Greg Lawless, who do you have? All right, so I'm going to go with a player who I also expect to be on the U.S. national team at the World Cup, but I think he's going to have a fantastic year. He needs to continue to prove it in his battle with Landon Donovan to be the starter for the U.S. national team. Graham Zuzzi from Sporting KC. All right, Graham Zuzzi. Good answer, Greg. Good answer, Greg. Show me Graham Zuzzi. Oh. Can you guys get a few answers so we don't make it easy All right. for us? Jerry oh. <laughs> Henry. Taylor Twelman, I'm not going to ask you a question. No, you, you don't have to. Thierry Henry. <laughs> I got to go with the man. Show me Thierry Henry. Hey. Well, I'm starving too, so you don't, don't read the answer. Jason, this year's 2014 MLS MVP will be Landon Donovan. Landon Donovan. Robbie Keane, the number one answer. Did Landon Donovan make the list? Show me Landon Donovan. We head over to the Rats. I think it's Mike McGee. I think it's on the front of people's Wait, minds. You think it's Mike McGee for the game, or you actually think that he will be the MVP? For the game, for sure. Okay. No, yeah. The game. But you think he'll be the MVP for the league? I just want to make sure. No, I don't think so. Probably okay. not. All right. Probably not. Lightning, lightning doesn't strike twice. That, but. that is mixed feelings coming from Andrew Wiebe. Yeah, Luke, three left on the board. I think McGee and Bradley will be two of them. That's Which one do you want? It's up to you. No, you're the one, the other one that picks. I'm no not taking the responsibility. <laughs> you guys are winning by 11. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's one of the two. You say either one, they're yeah. going to be up McGee. there. McGee or Bradley. You can pick. Flip a coin. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go with what Andrew Wiebe said. I don't agree with it at all, but it's all on him, and it's going to be <laughs> Mike <laughs> McGee. All right, last year's MVP, Mike McGee. Does he show up on the puzzle, or does TBDFC win back a little bit of pride? It's a consolation. Consolation show goal right here. Mike McGee. No, give me an X. Oh! Let's take a look at who else showed up here at number three. Jermaine Defoe. Michael Bradley. How about number five? Tim Cahill. Cahill. All right. And the number six answer of this survey, Jermaine, Jermaine Defoe. Defoe. You didn't have wow. faith in him before. Maybe you have faith in him now. TBDFC gets the point. That leads a four to two victory for the Rats. Congratulations on the victory. Before we go, I'm going to ask each of you, give me something that you're looking forward to in this 2014 season, whether it's a storyline, a player you want to see in the league. Alexi, 
What are you looking forward to in 2014? Well, obviously it's a World Cup year, and so I'm looking forward to see how MLS translates to the World Cup in terms of the individual players, in terms of the perception of MLS after the World Cup, and we'll see how it reflects upon MLS when, when it's all said and done. All right, Kobe, moving down the line. Well, I think everyone's talked about it when we look at this Toronto team, all the big changes that they've made in the offseason. I want to see if they can make that switch where they bring in the big names and they're successful right off the bat. Because we've seen quite a few times you bring in a lot of the foreign stars Have you and seen it takes that? a while. Have you seen that? A couple of times. <laughs> i got to go with Kobe because broadcasting in Canada, we've had uh, a lot of gonna... uh, poor seasons with Toronto FC. And what Tim Laiwiki has done there in this offseason has been nothing short of incredible. To bring a club that would have been basically on its knees and really struggling to to get back to relevance in the market and in Major League Soccer. Um, to bring these big names in, the big question now is whether or not Ryan Nelson is able to gel them into a team and, and make them into an MLS Cup contender, which is what Tim Laiwiki and everybody at Toronto expects, having spent almost uh, what's going to be a layout of $100 million over the course of the next few years. And Andrew, what are you looking forward to? I'm going to echo these guys, but I'm going to go with the World Cup, but a different World Cup. Can MLS finally get over the hump in the CCL? you got Sporting Kansas City, the LA Galaxy, both seem poised, tough, tough matchups. Can they push on? Can they beat Mexican opposition? Can the MLS be the team that represents CONCACAF in the Club World Cup? All right, they may not have earned it, but I am going to come and get the opinion of TBD FC. Greg, what are you looking forward to in 2014? Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what the Columbus crew do in 2014. I think they are the surprise team of this year. I think that Greg Berhalter is going to do a great job in collecting them as a group. And I think they've made some really interesting acquisitions that uh, will actually make them, they're going to make the playoffs, and then you never know what happens in the playoffs. All right. Thierry Henry, contract year, he came here to win. Supporter Shield's contract one step. Or retirement year. That's a big one. And I think with NYC FC coming in, I think Thierry Henry this year could do something very special. Jason, what are your thoughts? North of the border, uh, three storylines to follow for me. Uh, new coaches in Vancouver and Montreal. Carl Robinson, his first head coaching job, but he's someone that's got a very bright football mind. In Montreal, Klopas has come in. Montreal's got a philosophy about how they want to play the game, and they feel he Saputo's fits. Way. It is, but they feel that Frank Klopas fits that scenario. So that's going to be a, a great storyline to follow. And then obviously Toronto. I mean, everyone I think in MLS is looking at Toronto. One final one, Jorge. What are you looking have, forward to uh, this year? Expectations around two teams. One of them is the uh, Portland Timbers. Will Johnson and Diego Valeri think they're going to be a force in the league. And the other one, I believe that New York is going to steal the show by the end of the year, lifting the trophy, and to the beginning of next year with a new team. All right, wow. New York Red Bulls pulling it off, putting some pressure on New York City FC potentially. All right, that's it. We enjoyed doing this Footy Feud first ever edition. Thank you very much for joining us and thanks to everybody who participated, including Lucia in the back. Thank you for your uh, Vanna White performance. For everybody who joined us, for everybody who was producing this behind the scenes, thank you very much. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you really enjoy the 2014 MLS season.